Hi artists, I'm Dana Ensminger, art teacher over at Rossi Elementary School in Vineland, New Jersey. And today I'm going to show you how to create this adorable owl craft out of wood and a few other simple supplies already included in your packet. Let's gather our materials up and get started. Hey artists, so today we're going to be creating these adorable wood slice owl ornaments, perfect for the tree or even as a household decoration you can hang all fall and winter long. The materials you will need from your package are Elmer's glue, black permanent marker, pipe cleaners, four buttons, a yellow triangle, twine, and a wood slice. Let's get started. First, let's start with our twine. Twist one end in the direction the twine is twisting so it's nice and tight. Roll between your fingers a little bit so it's pointy. Our goal is to get the twine through the hole in the wood slice as neat as we can. If the twine frays a little bit and you lose a piece, that's okay. Just remove what didn't make it through. Now match up the two ends. Pull tight so the disc is in the center now. We're going to make an O. See how I have the two ends under? We need to get the two ends to hop through the O and pull a little bit to create a knot. Push the two ends through the hole and pull. Slide the knot toward the far end. This part is a little tricky, so don't get frustrated. Just ask a grown-up to help you. Make sure your wooden disc is hanging opposite the knot and it's centered. Now let's draw some details. Take your black permanent marker and let's draw some wings. I'm going to start by drawing a curve to the left and a curve to the right. Make sure the hole and the twine are centered above. Now I'll fill these shapes with small letter U's or bumpy lines to represent the feathers. You can even make short little lines to show feathers on the belly. Set your owl body down and gather your buttons. If you want to make the owl's eyes black in the center to represent the pupil, color the middle of your smallest buttons. Otherwise, this step is optional. Remember to be extra careful with your permanent marker because permanent markers are permanent and it will take quite some time to wash out of your hands or somewhere you didn't intend for it to be. Now let's grab our glue and plan out the eyes. Glue your larger buttons down first. You can always slide them a bit before the glue dries until they're in the right spot. Then glue the smaller buttons with the black side up on top of the larger buttons and let dry. If the yellow triangle has a peel back, peel it off and attach. Otherwise, a small dot of glue will keep the beak in place. Make sure your eyes and beak are how you want them before the glue dries. Take your brown Chanel stems, or you may know them as pipe cleaners, and let's create the owl's feet. Start with a straight piece on one end, about an inch. Take the longer side and bend it up a bit, twist together to make one toe. Bend the longer piece down again and back up and twist to create a second toe. Then bend down again, back up, twist that together to create a third toe. Twist whatever you have left back around to the beginning. It's okay if it doesn't look exactly like mine. You create your owl's feet however you'd like. We're going to do the exact same thing to the second piece of brown pipe cleaner. Bend down, bend up, twist together. Bend down, back up, twist together. Bend down, back up, twist together. And bend the final two pieces together. If 
If one of your toes is a little longer than the other, just bend it back and twist that up. Set your feet aside until the glue has dried on the front of your owl. Now that your owl has dried, let's glue the feet on the back. We want to make sure the feet are directly below the hole in the twine. That way our feet are centered. Use a liberal amount of glue. We will actually be even using more glue than this to make sure the feet don't fall off. This step can also be created using hot glue, but you would need an adult's supervision and permission. Carefully turn your owl and check the front to make sure your feet are centered. Like I said, we're going to use more glue, so let's make a bigger drizzle on top of the pipe cleaner to really hold it down onto the wooden disc. Let dry. Now that your owl ornament has dried, it's time to find the perfect spot. Whether it's a tree, a door, or simply hanging up in your room, this owl will look great anywhere. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun and happy holidays.